Honourable colleagues, I rise today to add my support for Senator Husakos' amendment to give the federal government more time to properly inform Canadians about the significant U.S. border concerns which will result from marijuana legalization after the passage of Bill C-45. In early April, I went to Washington, D.C. with two of our colleagues, Senator Carignan and Senator Boisvenu. We held meetings with top American government officials to get some straight answers that weren't forthcoming from the Trudeau government about how marijuana legalization will impact the Canada-US border. The answers we received two months ago demonstrate the clear need to pass Senator Husakos' amendment. Despite the Trudeau government's downplaying and constant attempts to portray minimal impacts, American officials are concerned about how marijuana legalization will impact the US. And we are concerned what this will mean for the huge number of Canadians who travel and do business in the United States. U.S. Homeland Security officials told us the impact of marijuana legalization has the, quote, potential to be very adverse, quote, on U.S.-Canada trade. It is important to note that marijuana remains illegal at the federal level in the United States. This includes the entire Canada-U.S. border, even though a few U.S. states have legalized it. Homeland Security officials told us that the United States will not change their law, their policies, or their drug-sniffing dogs, which can detect marijuana residue on clothing and in vehicles for days afterwards. The U.S. will also not add more border guards at the Canadian border. This means that increased inspections will likely result in more delays crossing the border, holding up everyone, not just those who have to go through secondary inspection. For those with a trusted traveler pass, like Nexus or Fast Express for truckers, an infraction will result in the pass being cancelled. For many Canadians, this could mean loss of employment. It is also important to note that American officials do not exempt medical marijuana. Canadians may be surprised to learn that could be grounds for inadmissibility to the U.S. Those who work in the marijuana industry could also face problems at the border. Canadians can apply for a waiver, which costs almost $600 U.S. and is only granted on a discretionary and annual basis. Meanwhile, a determination of inadmissibility to the U.S. is perpetual and indefinite. We were told two months ago that U.S. Homeland Security had been encouraging the Government of Canada to undertake a broad-based, quote, more robust messaging campaign so that Canadians are prepared for these border implications. They told us that, that, that this messaging needs to be about more than you can't import and export marijuana. Yet this is the very line Minister Ralph Goodale and the federal government continue to use for a protracted period of time. This more robust messaging still hasn't happened. And now we see the minimal messaging the federal government intends to relate to Canadians, but only once Bill C-45 is passed. This is absolutely unacceptable and is certainly not the, quote, more robust messaging U.S. Homeland Security has been encouraging our federal government to relate to Canadians for months. The Trudeau government has been more concerned with downplaying the significant consequences of their marijuana legalization scheme so they can ram this legislation through rather than doing their job to inform Canadians about these important considerations at the U.S. border. It is for these reasons, honourable senators, that I ask you to join me in supporting Senator Husakos' amendment. Canadians deserve to be properly and fully informed about the significant U.S. border concerns affecting them, which will result from marijuana legalization. Thank you.